And there's a moment where Cronkite, late at night, CBS has already signed, or NBC has signed off, and CBS stays on, and Cronkite's just gotten some 16 millimeter footage that they just got developed from, from five or six hours earlier in the day. And it's unusual, they always have a voiceover explaining what you're seeing, and it's kind of holding your hand through footage, and they say, and he says, all right, this footage, um, we just shot it today. He names the cinematographer, which is very unusual on TV news, um, because he thought he was so brave for doing this. This guy, Dick Perez, who had been in Mississippi with, with Dan Rather years earlier, it was really good. Um, he said, Dick Perez did this, it was very brave. There's no voiceover. Where did you just show it to you? The images speak for themselves. And it was a woman in a, a station wagon uh, trying to rescue some kids, some protesters who are being tear gassed, and the National Guard is pointing bayonets at the wheels of her car so that she can't move, and then they put a grenade launcher through the window of her car next to her head, about three inches from her head, and that's the only time that Cronkite interrupts because he just says that's a grenade launcher because he thinks you might not know what, you know, you might think it's just a gun, not a grenade being pointed at her head. And then at the end he says, well, that's, that's what happened. And, and he sort of ended the broadcast day. He, he signed off with some other stuff, but he didn't comment on the images. And so, you know, in a way, if you were a philosopher of, of imagery, you would say, like, images can't just be ontologically true. We have to complicate that as a philosopher. Well, you know, but there's a sort of belief that there's a kind of objectivity that's there that doesn't require the other side, you know? Um, so I think that the, the book and my research is helpful for just kind of thinking through this both sidesism issue and, and how we can push and prod differently at the both sides as an issue today, um, looking back at the past and how they handled these, these issues.